in this video, we're going to take a quick look at rotate mode, which allows you to spin your Z spheres around. It's an extremely useful mode to be in if you're trying to treat your hierarchy of Z spheres like a character. Uh, if you need to kind of move an arm or repose something. Here's how it works. If you click and drag on an existing Z sphere, you're going to be spinning around. Notice all of the children are just kind of flowing right along with their parent. Like mm -hmm. this is uh, like a joint chain almost. But notice the way the rotation is working. If I aim right down, it becomes a little more apparent. We are using the vector created by uh, created from the child up to the parent. And that becomes our axis of rotation. So that is kind of like uh, rotating around a hinge, if you mm -hmm. will. If you hold down Alt and click on an existing Z-sphere, you're just twisting that sphere in place. This is more useful as you start to create complex hierarchies, like maybe a, a biped or something. And when you tap the A key, you notice that maybe areas around the legs or forearms get a little twisting. Because uh, the initial orientation of these Z-spheres has to do with the angle at which the next sphere connects into it. And sometimes ZBrush will get a little confused, and maybe it's not putting that orientation exactly the way you want it to. So you might notice at the, at the pelvis or maybe at the roots of fingers that your mesh twists a little more than you'd like. Right. Well, holding down the Alt key and dragging, you can either untwist that and straighten it back out, or if you actually did want some twisting, you can just spin that around, and of course you got to maintain holding Alt the whole time, unlike I did where I just let it go too soon. Right. Uh, and you get some nice twisting there if you need it. So let me go ahead and undo that. Now finally, you can click on a connector sphere. And what this is doing is like free rotation, like ball and socket joint around the parent. So if I grab this little connection group down here, we just kind of start free, free rotating around. Very nice for reposing. Mm -hmm. If you hold down Alt and click on a connector sphere, you're doing the same thing, but it's like you're rotating around screen space. And it'll feel a little restrictive because it's going to have kind of a hard time interpolating exactly what angle you're going for. So just kind of keep that in mind. Most often, I don't use this. I will just grab and drag and rotate like so. Gotcha. I, I generally don't use the Alt key when I'm working with connector spheres. But that's it. It's really okay. just uh, those four things with clicking and Alt clicking on either a sphere or a connector sphere. Are there any questions? No, pretty All straightforward. Right. All right, that wraps this video up. Thanks a lot.